What's going on YouTube? Hope everyone is doing fantastic. Last week I was uh, waiting to get loaded and a guy comes up to me, a uh, guy out of Florida, a uh, Cuban guy out of Florida, and he tells me this. He's telling me this. I'm not just, you know, picking on him. Or not, not picking on him, but mentioning him for no purpose. Uh, so he says, you're an owner-operator. I said, yeah. He says, uh, we're having a trucker strike June 7th down in Tallahassee, Florida. So if, if you can make it, you know, you can come on down. Um, I don't go down that far. Um, that's not my lane, so I don't know nothing about that. Uh, he runs produce out of Florida, I guess, up to the northeast. And he's saying that the uh, rates are in the trash. Now, I'm speaking about reefer. I'm not talking about uh, flatbed and uh, tanker and uh, all the other stuff. I'm referring specifically to reefer, uh, reefer freight. So he said the, the rates are in the, in, the, in the trash. And he mentioned some companies that start with three letters and you know the, the big the big three or four you know that they, they come in and they chop the rate up so he said they're going on trucker strike in June 7th um, now here's my take on this one day is not going to do anything because if I say I'm not going to haul uh freight, you know, at whatever rate they're going to give me, you know, somebody else will come in and do it cheaper. And that's what's going to happen. You know, if if these group of people, I don't know how many, uh, how many is going to be involved, but what's going to happen is that somebody's going to just come in and, okay, well, they're going to find trucks to haul it anyway. And these a lot of these guys out here, they'll haul this cheap freight thinking they're, you know, they're making money when they're actually running at a loss. I talked about that in, the, uh, in uh, a previous video. Here's how you do a trucker strike. Now, this is, I, I could be wrong. This is my opinion, and I'm open for a correction. Let's say that you get a handful, uh, uh, you're going to need a whole lot of trucks, right? Owner -oper a whole lot of owner operators. Now, when the company, now you have to do this for probably at least a week. Now, when the company puts the freight up, just go ahead and accept it, right? For, from these, you know, these companies that like to come in and, and chop the rates. You, you call it up on the load, it's going from whatever point A to point B, whatever rate, you don't care what, you don't care what the rate is, you accept it. That doesn't mean you have to haul it. Now, you keep doing that. You know, you take 100 loads. If 100 trucks, I'm just using 100, but, you know, it could be any number. Hopefully, it will be higher. You get 100 trucks to do that. And what's going to happen is, once they find out that load wasn't picked up, they're going to repost it. Now, another set of trucks is going to come in and do the same thing. And you're just going to keep going all week long. What that's going to do is that's going to put the broker in the bind. If you do it all week long. Now, if you run for this broker uh, exclusively, uh, they might not give you any more freight. They might put you on a blacklist. Now, that is the uh, potential of doing that. But, you know, if you're going to make a stand, go ahead and make a stand. So what you're doing is you're creating a chain reaction, you know, with these broker companies that like to cop in and chop rates up. I'm not talking about the ones that don't. I'm talking about the ones that do. You know, and let that happen for a couple times. You know, one, two, three times, you know, that same load gets posted over and over and over. And here comes a truck, you know, 100 loads gets posted, 50 truck, whatever, you know, 50 loads gets posted. And, you know, these trucks booking the loads and these trucks leaving the freight sitting on the dock. You know, you're not even worried about it. Now, that's that's going to make more uh, 
that's going to make more noise or cause more of a disturbance than just, you know, saying, well, we're just going to take a day off. You know, X amount of trucks is going to take a day off. Now, if all the, I say a majority of the owner operators stuck together and decided not to pull, you know, for between certain dates, that might, you know, but then again, we got that problem that somebody will haul that freight. But once you, once you start hitting the brokers in their pockets directly, now it's going to be an issue. So if one was to organize a trucker strike, strike, that is how It might be done or how you could do it or how anybody could do it would I be a part of something like that I don't know but I'm not sticking my neck out there because I know what happens 